Welcome to the Frick Cast and welcome to the 2000 subscriber Q&A special. Before we begin, I'd just like to thank you all for supporting the channel the last couple years. It's been an incredible experience. And I'd also love to thank everyone for submitting questions. I actually got a lot more than I was anticipating, but we're going to go ahead and try to slam through them all. So with that, let's get into it. What made you start using natural soap? Well, that goes back to a very dark time in my life. A time I'm ashamed of. You see, I was once an Irish Spring body wash user. <coughs> I'm sorry. It's difficult for me to talk about it. So obviously I never really felt all that clean, but I never really thought about using any alternatives, let alone natural soap. But then like many of you, I started seeing the Dr. Squatch ads. For me, it was really when I started seeing YouTube channels that I watched, have Squatch sponsorships. And after a while, I decided to check it out after hearing everyone rave about it. I ordered the Cool Fresh Aloe from Amazon. I loved it and I started trying all the other flavors and I've never looked back since. I wanna say that was about three or four years ago and that decision ended up being pretty life-changing. What well, sort of brick themes and scents would you like to see in the future? I'd say if I could request one or two bricks, it would be an orange cream or a shamrock bar. I love those flavors, and I find it odd these haven't been done a lot. I think Sudsy Bear especially would make a nifty orange cream or shamrock, because they're pretty good with the fruity, creamy sort of bricks. What sort of collabs would you like to see in the future? Well, if you'd asked me this a couple months ago, I would have said Harry Potter, but we just got those. And by the way, the guides will be coming out here within the next few days. Now I would say the Lord of the Rings would be a great collab with Squatch, or some other fantasy world. I'm a big fan of series like Elder Scrolls and Elden Ring, so I'd love for a collab like that. Squatch has been doing a lot of the superhero nerd and space nerd stuff, so I think it's time for the fantasy nerds to get clean too. Does anyone else contribute to the channel? Who takes the pictures? In terms of the scripting and the editing, that's all just me. As for the pictures, it's actually my sister that takes them. She's a professional photographer so she'll come over to my house and we'll set up a shoot with props and whatnot. She does a really good job with those and I think it really helps improve the channel's quality. I don't think it would be the same otherwise. How many bars do you have? Which do you have the most of? Shit man. A lot. Without counting, I'd say I have over a hundred bars. Maybe a lot more than that. As for which I have the most of, I'd say it's either the Brick of the Dead, I love that bar and have stocked up on it every year it's been released, or the Crypto Cleanse, because I ordered like nine of those when it dropped and Squatch sent me two packages by mistake and just told me to keep it, so I got a nice little stash of that one too. The best smelling shampoo and conditioner. Well, I've only used the Squatch and Sudsy shampoos and conditioners. I do plan on trying some other brands too, I have the Grizzly Natural Candy Apple Bars that I was going to try, but I only have so many soap grippers, and I have the four Harry Potter Bars and a Sudsy Bar going right now, but I'm looking forward to trying that. To me though, the Squatch hair kits are better than the Sudsy Shampoo Bars, and the best hair kit is definitely the Pep Kit. The Frosty Peppermint is just amazing. I pretty much exclusively use that one, and I'll be stocking up on it come Christmas. As for the best smelling, I mean the Twisted Pumpkin from Sudsy smells awesome, as does the old Saint Nick, so you can't go wrong with those either. What do you think of the idea of spray deodorant? I've used spray deodorant back before I switched to natural deodorant. I can't say that I really cared for it. To me the natural deos are just way better, and I'm pretty satisfied using those. Especially the Sudsy Bear ones for now. If someone could make a natural spray deodorant, which I'm not sure you could, I would definitely try it and make a guide for you guys. How long do you study the soap? Well, me and a brick need to become one, you know what I'm saying? It's not just enough to use a bar, you need to experience it. And that takes dedication to the shower. In all seriousness, I try to use a bar multiple times and give it at least a few days before doing a guide. Because I feel the bar can change as you use it, and sometimes they grow on you. So I like to give it as accurate a review as I can. What quality of life items would you recommend? Any candle brands? I thought about this for a while and I can't really think of any quality of life items that I haven't already covered on the channel. I'd say maybe an essential oil diffuser if you're looking for a candle alternative. I like to use those occasionally but I do prefer candles and I really don't have one candle brand that I go for over another. I just try to get good quality ones with coconut wax or something. I'd say my favorite is probably mythology candles. They're good quality coconut wax and I love the different themes they do. 
too. They've done Lord of the Rings. I think they've done Elder Scrolls and The Witcher too. So I enjoy those. They are on the pricey side though, but they're definitely nice. I may do a guide for those in the future if anyone's interested. Which company do you like better, Dr. Squatch or Sudsy Bear? That's a tough question, and I don't think I can definitively say one is better than the other. I think both do most things very well, and do some things better than the other one. Sudsy typically has better ingredients, more natural scents, but Squatch has more interesting collabs and limiteds. The Squatch hair kit is better than the Sudsy shampoo bar, but the Sudsy Dio is much better than the Squatch one. And the Sudsy beard oil dick slaps the Squatch one. But I do also love the Squatch toothpaste. Personally, I think it's better to just use both and enjoy the benefits of each, rather than stick to just one. How much money have you spent on Squatch products? Shit, man. A lot. I'll just say that. What do you think about new Squatch Christmas soaps? I'm not a big Christmas person. I prefer Thanksgiving and Halloween. But I do think Squatch definitely needs a third flavor. I mean, they got four for Halloween now. I'd say they should expand the snowy pine tar to Dio and hair kit form. And they should also drop a new brick. Maybe a gingerbread one. That'd be nifty. What got you started reviewing Squatch and any Duke Cannon in the future? Well, I'd been using Squatch for over a year at that point and was starting to really get into it and all the flavors and new releases. My friends had all started using it as well, and I started watching reviews online. I thought, you know, I could do that too, but I wanted to try to do it in a different way. My experience in video making had been more along the lines of documentary style videos, similar to what you see on my other channel, Agear. You know, everything's scripted and edited, so I kind of took that approach and applied it to reviews. I also don't really have the setup for traditional reviews, so all that's why I decided to make them guides and used photos to really showcase the bars. As for Duke Cannon, I probably won't be covering them again again unless there's a huge demand for it, or something really piques my interest. I did try the Shamrock bar they had, because again, I love Shamrock, but I wasn't all that impressed with it. Duke Cannon isn't really a natural soap, so I'd prefer to cover more natural bricks. What made you make a channel around soap? Would you ever consider moving away from soap videos? Dr. Squatch and soap were meant to just be the first of many different things. It's kind of become the main focus, but I don't plan on this channel just being about Squatch, or being just a soap review channel, although that's always going to be a part of it. I'd like to branch out to different topics as well, maybe review different types of products. I enjoy making the soap content, but I also know it's a very niche area, so I would like to try some different things. That's why I have my other channel where I focus on more history, documentaries, and things like that. But as for this channel, the Frickcast, I don't know, what other type of content would you guys like to see? Why is your logo a bear? A bear was just kinda a natural fit. They've always been my favorite animal. I respect their work. And I mean, bears are pretty often used used as a mascot for soap companies and things like that. So I think it just fit well with the vibe of the channel and everything. What made you use YEAH MAN as your intro? Well, it started on the first video I made, the Pine Tar Guide. I had made the Legend intro, which you know was meant to be like over the top and tense, but I needed something to transform the rest of the video into the more upbeat vibe it had. So that just kind of ended up sticking as like my stereotypical, obnoxious YouTube intro. Will you ever make merchandise? Maybe. I'm not opposed to it, but I'd only want to make something if it's worthwhile. I don't want to just try and sell some junk. I have plans for some bigger things down the road, but in terms of merch, I'd really only do that if it's it's something you guys would be interested in. So let me know if you have any ideas. Will you extend to other soap companies like Grizzly, Black Stuff, or Dapper Yankee? Well, I did recently cover Grizzly, and I do plan on trying the other two at some point. I've been looking at the Black Stuff for quite a while now. Although I think I might prefer to cover some smaller, lesser known companies as well. Maybe do some sort of collab. Are there more wheels or doors in the world? I'd say doors. I guess it depends on what you consider a wheel. Does a shopping cart count? A desk chair? I mean, because if you're just counting wheels on like cars, then most of them have doors as well. And if the average person has a house and a car, I mean, there's going to be way more doors in that house, right? If you could only use five bricks, that's tough. I'd say as of right now, if I had to pick five, I would say the Brick of the Dead, the Deep Sea Goat's Milk, Twisted Pumpkin, Getting Lucky, and Blueberries and Cream. Let's end this off with the rapid fire round. If you could bring back one Squatch Limited, what would it be? I imagine the popular answer would be Drunk and pumpkin, but we've gotten some pretty close replacements. So I'm actually going to go with the Batman brick, as that's been removed from the website. When you started your channel, what did you think it would look like in two years? I always thought that we would have success, but maybe not quite like this. I didn't really expect to be a 
part of such a great community. What do you think it will look like in another two? I think a lot like this, just bigger. I think we'll have expanded to some different things, and hopefully be right back here doing another one of these videos. Why did you choose the Frick cast as your channel name? Frick is something of a nickname, and the cast came from an originally also being a podcast or show, which is still definitely something I want to do in the future. Why do you do Legends for Squatch, but 100 Acre Shower for Sudsy? The Legends started because I was trying to hype the bar up and make it kind of over the top, and that's just kind of what I ended up doing with all these Squatch bars, trying to give them like a personality or theme. When it came time to do the Sudsy Bear Guides, I didn't want to just do the same thing, because it would just be a lot of repetition. But because Sudsy kind of reminded me of Winnie the Pooh, I decided to just do a short tale from the 100 Acre Shower for each one. What's well, something else you're interested in or enjoy besides soap? I enjoy grilling, and I'm also a big football fan. I watch most of the games and play a lot of fantasy football. And before we get to our final question, I just wanted to say thank you again, Mains, for taking part in this Q&A and for supporting the channel. Now, what's one word you would use to describe yourself? Well, my friends, there's only one word that comes to mind. And it's the same word that I would use to describe all of you. Nifty. Until next time, Frick Nation. Yeah!